basically certain people are getting done dirty by other people and it's not going to end well for anyone. Hey, Nagels. So anyway, with that, and hopefully the cat doesn't keep interrupting, let's continue, shall we? Oh yeah, the patch. Yeah, we're going to hear a lot of Japanese voices. Huh. I don't know anything about the Power Rangers community. And see, the thing is, the people that are getting done dirty are not... It's not me personally. It just, you know, relates to friends of mine. And I have absolutely no influence to do anything about it. So, you know. The only thing I can do is listen. That's about it. That is my sole ability to contribute to this whole mess. It's just listen and let you know, let people uh, vent. So, anyway. Let's hope this isn't too loud. I'm going to be monitoring the audio... the audio filter over on OBS. Little desktop audio line. Although my, my mic is like right in the way there. Let's move it down here so I can actually see it. And hope that this is not too loud. Oh yes, this is Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 2, Watanagashi. The most possibilities. How was your taste of life in Hinamizawa? A curse or a conspiracy? I believe you have fully enjoyed everything and everyone seeming suspicious. Here at last, it is no surprise attack, but a real direct incident. Please enjoy it. The difficulty is lower than Onikakushi, but extremely vicious. Yeah, the difficulty. I, I like how there was considered difficulty in uh, Onikakushi, and that this one is probably the exact same thing, where we're not actually going to do anything in the game. Although they may surprise me. But yes, we were given a difficulty meter. Where's the slider? I want a difficulty slider. Let's crank this bad boy all the way to 11 and see just how difficult it actually gets. Maybe, maybe just the plot difficulty. Or the difficulty of myself to uh, remain immersed in said plot. Oh good, I got a new card for this game. I'll look at that later. Anyway. <laughs> and yes, it laughs at me. Because of course it does. I will not quench your thirst, for you seek the truth and could not accept that. I will not quench your thirst, for the truth you desire does not exist. But I still want to quench your thirst, for I am the one who cast you in the desert, into the desert. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> and we are in AD 1983 all over again. Hmm. So the thing is, the voice will only be there for spoken lines in the game. It will not be there for, you know, the, uh, the narration and all that. Anyway, I think I will still provide that, but I will let the Japanese voices state their lines and not interfere, I hope. The chirping of birds served as my alarm clock. Huh? Eh? Wasn't it a Sunday? Wasn't it basically my style to stay up late on Saturday and sleep through the morning on Sunday? You and me both, pal. Why was I waking at the, the disgustingly wholesome hour? Back to sleep, back to sleep. At that moment, the sound of my mother calling me from downstairs finally registered. Phone call. 
I sprang up out of bed abruptly and stampeded noisily down the stairs. He's awake. I'll put him on right now, my mother informed the person on the other end of the line, and they forgot to voice this line. Hey, you'd think! Apparently, Keiichi is still alive. Who, who'd have guessed? It, it's amazing how well you can survive ripping your own throat out. And Reina! Reina's still alive. Mm. It's amazing how well you can survive multiple baseball bat strikes to the head and body. How? I don't know how. I I don't know. It was eleven o'clock. I guess you could loosely consider that the middle of the day. Oh good, Mion's here too. You, you would think it's during that point in time, but I played just enough of this to learn that's not the case. And why will become obvious. Yeah, yeah, it would be. And we're still the jerk. いるわけないでしょ。まあいいや。バカな話してたら目が覚めた。Everybody. Yeah, Dostadanya is goodbye, yes. I don't know enough Russian to say to know what good morning would actually be, so I couldn't help her out there. Did she mean all the club members? Read it? Okay. But uh, yeah, the club is a thing. Remember that club that yeah we uh, we joined partway through the last game? Yeah, that that's a thing here. My theory, um, my my theory, um, yeah, yeah, um, we're we're gonna relive nine 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 here. We're we're in alternate timelines. Yeah, I turned the I keep turning the voice volume up, but the phone is understandably muted the way they were doing that. I had absolutely nothing planned that day. If I were to refuse, if I were to refuse Club President Mion's invitation, what other fun ways to pass the time would I have? 
嫌だって言ったら先輩扱いでどんな罰ゲームを課せられるやら He can be taught. ここまで分かってるなら断れないよねもし OK ならいつもの待ち合わせ場所に一時集合街へ行くから自転車で来てね Bring your bike Just, just leave the baseball bat at home, okay? We, we had enough of that. Club activities in town? Well, we could do them anywhere. Besides, since it was a new venue, there was no way this wasn't going to be intense. Yeah, they need to leave the syringe too. A couple days ago was Friday's club activities. That uncom uncompromising poker match. Oh god, more card games on bicycles, literally. Right? <laughs> Monimus? I don't know either. But apparently, the poker game, it was a fight to the death. Nobody held back. Nobody could tell who was in the lead or who was last until all the points were tallied. Yeah, that switches it between adventure and novel mode. I mean, yeah, I can switch it like that. But I don't know if it actually eliminates a bunch of text or anything like that. In the end, I won by only one chip. Neon came in second. No voice? Yeah, if you hadn't squandered a chip. Too bad we couldn't see that. Oh, just change the design? Okay. Neon lamented this, perhaps more so that than the fact she lost the match. Neon doesn't lose. That's why Mion only whined when she let the champion's throne slip through her fingers. That's why she was more frustrated than anybody over a close loss. So, did she mean for today to be a grudge match? Yeah, bring it on, you say. That, that was an Ojo-sama laugh. Why is she putting out an Ojo-sama laugh? <clears throat> as I headed back upstairs hastily to get the key to my bike, I bumped into my mother as she was carrying a futon down. The whole thing? Futons are heavy. I'm not buying the fluffy exterior game. You can you can drop that. Yeah, yeah, she does refer to herself as an old man. Hey, hey, chanto kaette kurutte! Or at least she did in the first game, it seems we've rebooted. I'm, I'm calling alternate timelines as a theory. After unlocking the chain from a bike in the garage, I reveled a bit in the resistance the slightly stiff pedal gave as I pushed on it. Alright, let's go! I set off on my bike, cutting through the refreshing morning air. Oh, everybody still has their same clothes. And I do, I have to admit, I like this art style in the background better than the washed out look they that we were stuck with last game. So where are the two little ones? 
Are they here too? Yeah, them. Ah, okay. I see. If I remember correctly, Satoko and Rikachen's houses were on the other side past the school. That would be an awfully boring thing. I mean, the banks aren't open on Sundays. Are they? Eh. Payday too, yeah, okay, sure. We're, we're doing that now. Why? Yeah, what? I spun around with a serious look on my face and looked at Mion. Well, it certainly seemed possible that Mion was capable of doing that. Why are we alive? We killed us! Were you kidding or did you rat her out and you're apologizing for that? I'd believe either at this point. The two of them joked around. That bright laughter was the best match for a beautiful day like today. Around and around, fooling about like two fluttering butterflies. I earnestly wish I could just keep watching him like this, because that doesn't sound creepy to say in the least. But the five of us together would absolutely be more fun! I, I don't know if Camera Guy is still alive. Maybe he can come back and ruin our life again. Plunder one billion. One billion dollars. Yeah, this, this, everybody went here when they were demoned away. That, that's what went on. Yeah. Uh. If they hadn't actually said his name was Keiichi, I, I could believe we were back one year. And if they hadn't named the year. Hmm. I could also believe we'd gone back in time and were the other guy that got demoned away. The view expanded as Okonomiya Station came into sight. I occasionally come to the station here. Considering the amount of effort it takes to get here, though, it was quite a hassle. That's why I didn't know much about the area around the station, or Okonomiya itself, for that matter. The street we were headed down today was, of course, unfamiliar to me as well. Is this purgatory? I, I wouldn't put it... I I'm keeping the possibility open, we'll just say. <clears throat> Going through the railway crossing, we headed past the south end of the station. Yeah, that it's much better artwork, I will say that. I'm I'm interested in the arcades. Yeah, remember you mentioned that? You know, well, okay, you wouldn't remember that. That happened in a different timeline. Yeah. 
Gamer's blood boils within you. Oh, God. Hey, K-Tech. Uh, you're gonna help the delinquency, aren't you? Yes, I did patch the game. Not without hassle, but I did end up getting the patch to work. The installer, the, uh, the, um, installer they offered did not work in the least. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is just an alternate universe. Please tell me we're not going to have to hop back to the old one. Maybe, maybe this one's nice. Okinomiya? That is, uh, isn't that where the detective kept taking Keiichi? Or took him that one time? I'm pretty sure, yeah, Okinomiya was the town that the, uh, detective took Keiichi to to go to that maid cafe. It seemed like the town of Okinomiya was neon stomping grounds. If I asked her, she could tell me a lot of things about it. Eventually, we came across a store with quite a few bikes parked in front of it. None of them in the shot, but trust me, they're there. Was this the arcade? Nah, it's a small shop. Looking at the window display, it seemed like your everyday toy shop. But for almost 10 kids to be filing in and out of the store, they were doing almost too well for themselves. Yep, for 1983 Japan, not looking bad. Also, yeah, that this is probably where Mion picks up all her games. And you know, if it weren't for all the really, really... Okay, everything that happened in the first game... Mion's little gaming club is something I would have loved to be part of when I was back in, you know, middle and high school. I'll say that now. I would have loved to have been part of something like that way back then. Top price, 50,000 yen. That's... Well, in today's money, that's about 500 bucks, so that's a pretty good prize. You could buy a new console with that. Or two back in this day and age. <laughs> GMP of the People's Republic of KEG. Two cute figures messing about the front of the store noticed us and waved their hands. Oh, good demon girl's back. Also, Satoko. You know, I I'm just gonna say. That's actually a reasonable assumption to make with this group. Yeah, the voice acting, as far as I can tell, is doing well enough. Excuse me one second, folks. Sorry, had to do a little bit of sinus clearing here. Saying that, Rikachan stretched up and began patting Mion's head. Hey, wait a minute. Are you solving everything by making me the bad guy? We we don't know. We 
it wasn't addressed. It wasn't addressed as um what happened to Rika and Satoko. Oh good, she has that look. So so we're the villain again. Fantastic. <laughs> Quit with that laugh. I wonder if they just reuse the voice actors from the anime. And not, not the voice actors, but if they just reuse the sound clips from the anime to make the game. It wouldn't surprise me if they found a way to uh, use that to, you know, save a few bucks. I was feeling slightly irritated, so I began to repeatedly smack Satoko on the head, in true villain style. This quirk still remains. Oh god, she's gonna punch us at the hyper light speed. Yep! Reina ecstatically wiped the tears, which were probably fake, from Satoko's face while Rika chan gently patted mine as I lay sprawled on the ground. Yeah, th this is fine. Ev everything's fine. うん。やっぱりこれが正しい丸い収め方だよな。前歯がかける前に新しいお家を探した方がいいと思うけどね。Well then, Mopsy Daisy. In any case, the greeting for today went well. I was only punched once. Inside the toy shop, there were about ten boys the same age as me. Apparently, they all knew Mion, and finding out she had arrived, they greeted her with jeers a few at a time. They're jeering her. How friendly are they? You see Pez? I see. Yeah, I don't think I see anything I would consider to be Pez here. I see other things. Bobbleheads. Why are they selling bobbleheads? Oh, they're behind Reina? Alright. Yeah, you want Cherry flavored Pez. Hola, <clears throat> Following Satoko's prompting, I took a look. There were chairs lined up at tables, almost like some sort of birthday party. I realized it immediately. ま、まさかこれって不活の会場なのか驚いたかい、ケイちゃん。私、この店のおじさんと仲良しでね。たまに客寄せイベントってことでゲーム大会を開かせてもらってるんだよ。Expand his customer base. I see. Meaning all the boys livening up the place were participants? Reina was innocently happy about being able to play with so many people. But my expression grew noticeably stern.
These are all enemies. Satoko's voice and mind blended together in harmony. We looked over at the participants. After all, the top prize was 50,000 yen. My eyes lit up like a flame. ね、ちゃん。今日は楽しめそうでしょ。まあな。ライバルが何人増えようが狙うものに変わりはないさ。ライバル？ああ、ケイちゃん。クジラが水を飲むとき、今飲んだ水の中に何匹シラスが混じっ
They were looks of expectation and curiosity. They were the eyes of onlookers who were wondering what kind of match was going to occur and who was going to win. Also, Keiichi, um, be a pal. And uh, if, if you hear about a murder, just, um, just ignore it. Can, can we do that? Can we do that this time? I would appreciate it. Thanks in advance. Yeah, we, we did check out the review session, the cast review. Uh, we, we looked at that. I think I even uploaded that to YouTube. Reyna was already fully charged. Mortal laws and common sense held no power before the might of this game. Or Reyna in her cute mode. I definitely didn't want to fight her if possible. God, she has a cheering section. Rika-chan, which is, who was exuding way too much charm no matter how you looked at it, had already won over most of the onlookers to her side. Nonchalantly avoiding things had always been Rika-chan's creed, but for her to be blatantly laying out her machinations like this, something was definitely strange. Like Reyna, she was somebody who I didn't want to fight if I could help it. Get out of our head. Especially when... No, that didn't happen on this timeline. But yeah, if you get involved in a game where there are multiple penalties and the loser of the last one has to do them all, I, I would try to abstain from going that day. I'm just saying... ミオンさん、おとといのポーカーで負けたの相当根に持ってるみたいでしたよ。Almost as though she were psychic, Mion turned towards us. Her eyes silently conveyed the message. You guys just figured that out now? It wasn't just Mion. Both Reyna and Rika-chan were more pumped up than they'd ever been. Yeah. One's gonna pop up today. Without a doubt, there'll be casualties. あたくしとケイチさんが何となくおいてきぼりですわね。いかがでございましょう。何でしたらスマートに初戦をお手合わせ願えませんかしら。そうしよっか。俺もエンジンがかかるまで鳴らしようし。おお、ケイチ。I think you just signed your death warrant. My spinal column shuddered like it had been struck by a bolt of lightning, and like a pillar of ice was being jammed into it, it began to freeze. I could almost see the flames backlighting Satoko with their intensity. Even then, while Satoko was displaying a normal smile, it was cold and inhuman, almost as if it were a plastic mask. <laughs> さっきが隠せてないぜ。あら、残念ですわね。ケイチさんにてはなかなか緊張でしたよ。あはははは。God damn it.
without a doubt. It was a trap. I don't know what she had up her sleeve, but if I fought with Satoko during the opening round, my loss would be more certain than if I went against Mion. <laughs> well, it's not the uh, goofy theme. A pitch black miasma permeated the inside of the store. Did they all want to win that 50,000 yen prize that much? No, that's not right. The only ones competing for the prize money were the casual participants. I was different. I had mistaken this as just a way to fool around on a normal Sunday. It didn't matter when it was, or where it was, or who our opponents were. In our club, the goal was always the very top of the mountain. An intense flame that no strong wind could extinguish, hot enough to melt any steel, began to burn inside me. The fuse had been lit on this unprecedentedly intense club battle. It was then that the owner of the store told Mion in a lackadaisical voice that it was about time to begin. <laughs> Mion began with the formality, standing in for the owner, and explained the rules of today's tournament. You're only playing to win. There's no second or third place. That's the same rule as our club. There were 15 people participating. We were to split up into five groups via draw, and each group would have one winner. Each winner in the first stage would advance to the next in order to compete in the final. Each table can decide to play whatever they want, huh? Already in club mode DEFCON 1, I didn't let the small gap in the rules go unnoticed. The spectators also knocked along. It was only natural. There wasn't anybody who would simply cede to their opponent's suggestion. It was an event at a toy store, after all. You'd expect the owner to referee. After that, Neon's rundown continued. It ended with the rule that any losing participants would have to buy the game they lost at, a rather nice proposition for the store. First, we used a draw to split into five groups. Everybody lined up single file and began to draw tickets that the shop owner had prepared. <coughs> it was my turn. All right, time to draw. Believe in the heart of the shuffle. No matter who I was up against, I'd crush him. At that moment, Mion began to laugh with a hawkish gleam in her eye. Of course. <laughs> Uh huh. Contrary to how simple it sounded, it was a terrifying eventuality, the subject of which no one could predict. Damn you, Mion! Was she really planning on parading me around Hinamazawa and cat ears in a banana hammock with a tail attached or something? I, I think that would be Reina. That, that would definitely be more a Reina thing than a Meon thing. The look on Meon's face told me she wouldn't be able to let me get off that easy. On top of that, this time, it wasn't just the person who finished last who'd have to submit to the penalty game. Haisha, 
So, those of you in the chat that do not know how this game goes, place your bets on who wins and what they make everyone else do. <coughs> So you could. So the look in Neon's eye became that of a lion bearing its fangs. Even so, I didn't feel threatened. <clears throat> the more into it my opponent was, the stronger I would become. The results of the draw were enough to make you cry, Conspiracy. All the members of the club were nicely divvied up amongst the five tables. <clears throat> Yeah, we, we thought he'd lose a chance to get the bear, too. But that was later in the game. This is not the first, you know... This is not the first, uh... It wasn't the first event that happened in Chapter 1. How did this happen when the draw was that random? The thought that I was already caught in Neon's puppet strings made me feel uneasy. That was fine, though. I'll crush all your petty tricks. Now, where were my opponents? Can I help you, cat? Hmm? You're nibbling on my fingers. What do you want? some head scratches. Sorry, I let my hang down over the, uh, over the arm of the chair and suddenly found my fingertips getting nibbled on by a cat. Everybody was headed to the table corresponding to the number on their ticket. 